I am Sakit from IBM Curera team and in this video I will discuss dashboard management in IBM Curedar. Let us log in to IBM Curedar GUI. The dashboard tab is the default view when you log in to IBM Curedar. The workspace supports multiple dashboards on which you can display your view of network security, activity or data that is collected. The dashboard tab provides five default dashboards that are focused on security, network activity, application activity, system monitoring, and compliance. I want you to see at the top right corner of the dashboard. You can observe that the timer is getting reduced by five seconds. The dashboard has a countdown timer and it will refresh the page after 60 seconds. Now let us know about the customization of the dashboard. To customize your dashboard, you can perform the following task. Create custom dashboards that are relevant to your responsibilities. 255 dashboard per user is maximum. However, performance issue might occur if you create more than 10 dashboards. You can add and remove dashboard items from default or custom dashboards. You can move and position the item to meet your requirement. When you position the items, each item automatically resize in the proportion to the dashboard. Also, you can add custom dashboard items that are based on any data. Now let us create the custom dashboard. To create the custom dashboard, go to dashboard tab, click new dashboards. In the name field, give the unique name up to 65 characters. In the description, type the description of the dashboard. The maximum length is 1024 characters. If you want to share the dashboard with the users, click share. At this point, I don't want to share, hence I am clicking OK. Once you click OK, you can see the custom dashboard appear in Show Dashboard. You can add the details as per your requirement. Let us add System Notification. Also add System Summary. If you want to see the most recent offenses, go to Add Items, Offenses, again Offenses and Most Recent Offenses. You can move and position the items. Let us consider the example where we want to capture the number of events of the Linux log source based on the event name. Go to Log Activity tab. Apply the filter as per your requirement. At this point, I just want to search the event count for only one log source. Hence, I am applying the filter as log source is name of the log source. Now let us select the time frame for which we want to count the event. I am selecting for 1 hour. You can see the save result appears in the log activity tab. Now try to save this criteria by clicking on save criteria. Once you click the save criteria, you have to give the name to this criteria. Let us give the name as demo save criteria. There are four timestamp options. First is real time streaming. Second is last interval auto refresh. Third is recent where we can select the time frame. And last is specific interval. If you want to include this search and in the quick searches, check include in my quick searches. You can share this save criteria with the users by checking the option share with everyone. You can set this option as default by clicking set as default but if you can see here include in my dashboard appear is graded out it is giving the information as non group searches cannot be added to the dashboard so we need to group the search with some criteria let us cancel this search for now and go to display and group this searches by event name now you can see the result now let's try again to save the criteria there are only three timestamp options. One is last interval, 
last interval auto refresh which is 60 seconds second is recent that is timestamp which we have selected or specific interval you can also see that include in my dashboard option appears now let us give this name to this search as demo save criteria let us include this save criteria in the quick searches also we want to include this in the dashboard hence checking the option as include in my dashboard now click ok once you click ok it will give the message as your search was saved successfully click ok let us see the quick searches you can see that save search criteria appear in the quick searches now let us go back to the dashboard tab to add the save search in the dashboard go to add item log activity event searches scroll down and see the save search name click on demo save criteria and you can see that is appear in the top left corner I'll drag the atom to the middle of the workspace I'll just refresh the page now now you can see the data appear in the widget you can detach this widget by clicking on the first option that is detach this atom once you click that you can see the widget is detached now now let us talk about the chart type in the dashboard click the setting icon and click on the chart type you can see here there are four chart type bar chart pie chart and table chart are only available for group event and flow accumulated parameter are indicated by asterisk in value to graph before knowing about the accumulated data let us spend some time knowing what is accumulator the accumulator is a curator process that counts and prepares events and flows in the data accumulation to assess with searches display charts and report performance so now what is accumulated data accumulated data is an aggregated data view used to draw a time series graph or run scheduled reports we reference the data that is created by the term global view note that the accumulator service runs on all the appliances with local storage to create minute by minute accumulation the accumulator rollup service runs once per hour and create hourly rollups if you select a value to graph that is not accumulated that is no asterisk time series data is not available data accumulates so that when you run a time series save search a cache of events or flow data is available to display the data for previous time period now let us go back to the chart type and see the charts one by one click chart type and click pie chart here is the pie chart if you want to see the data in the tabular format click on table again if you want to see the time series data click on time series if you want to see the top 5 just go to display top and select the number as 5 to investigate further click view in log activity once you click view in log activity you will automatically navigate to the log activity tab here you can see all the details related to the log source for example event name source ip destination ip magnitude event count sum and count to investigate further just double click the event as you can see the data is populated to further investigate just double click the event and see the details here is the event information source destination information payload information some additional information such as custom rules custom rule partially match etc also you can see the identity information such as identity username identity ip identity hostname etc let's cancel this and go back to the dashboard now if you want to rename the dashboard go to dashboard tab and click rename dashboard once you click ok you can see the rename dashboard appear in the show dashboard at last i want to show you how to delete the dashboard go to dashboard tab click delete dashboard once you click delete dashboard it will ask for the confirmation click yes once you delete the custom dashboard it will again go back to the default dashboard so that's all about dashboard management thank you for joining us if you need more assistance use the links in the description